What's going on everybody? Dogman Dan here. Now in the last video you saw me talk about the taxon itself. Now we are going to talk about the Artax. I kept it separately because this weapon can be used on most any sentinel and it is extremely effective. Okay? Not powerful, but effective. We have to look at it from a completely different standpoint of how we're used to damage because this is not about damage. This is about status on this weapon and the cold proc uh, the slow proc that is 100% guaranteed from its shot okay so let's just get right into it um, you've seen me running it everywhere this is now next to my Helios my next favorite um, sentinel and weapon to run okay I don't have Helios Prime yet sorry so here we go. Now I don't have a maxed serration on here because I have only one serration mod that's actually maxed. The other one's not. Here it is. No biggie. Again, this is not about the damage number per se. Okay. Split chamber on here for multi shot because I want to shoot more of that freeze ray out. Shred's going to be on here for the fire rate increase and the punch through. The punch through is going to help me get through the walls. Um, it's also going to help me when I shoot an enemy with this weapon to have enemies that are within the range of it will also be affected by the slow effect. Uh, speed trigger on here is going to increase my fire rate again. This is also increasing my status effect. Okay, let me, I'll show it to you in a minute. Vile acceleration. 90% fire rate increase again. I'm not worried about the damage loss here. I'm worried about increasing fire rate, increasing my status per second um, for the weapon, especially when we're talking about, uh, we know we get the freeze in there um, automatically, so the slow proc is 100% there. On occasion, I get the blast, not a biggie, um, but it's all about that slowing effect, right? So I'm going to use thermite rounds to bring up my status chance here, and I'm going to use rhyme rounds, and in this case, prime cryo rounds. Um, to bring up that cold as well if I take out and again this is you know kind of a really a work in progress I could take it out right I could turn around and say screw thermite rounds I just want straight up cold damage um, if I were to do that then the way to increase my status effect again is going to be bringing in hammer shot bringing up my status chance by another 40% okay so that's really one way to do it. There's a ton of different ways you could do this. You really just have to look at what your ultimate goal here is. For me, for now, uh, like I said, I'm just going to leave thermite rounds on here because I can get the maximum amount of status chance per second at 18.1%, which is very, very good. My fire rate increase goes to 275, which means I'm shooting fast, by shooting fast, I'm hitting the target, moving on to the next target. Hitting the target, moving on to the next target. Hitting the target, moving on to the next target when I run out of the ammo, okay? So constantly switching targets, constantly switching targets. I'm keeping a slight CC effect, if you will, uh, with all the enemies within my range. And that's the whole point of bringing up that fire rate. The faster I fire, the faster I move to the next enemy. It's that simple. And the other enemy's still going to be holding on that slow damage effect, giving me enough time to kill them from the proc and move forward. Helps out, obviously, in the current operation that's going on uh, as of this. So there's a lot of effects to this, and that's why we also want to keep our status as high as we can as well, um, just for the status effects that this can, can give you. Like I said, I went with Blast. There was no need for me to have two statuses on here, uh, two different types. Um... For now, I'm with Blast. I can change that if I wanted to. I could go ahead and say, you know what, let me put Continuous Misery on here. And while I'm down to a 13.2 instead of an 18.1, now I get an extra duration length on there. Now, it doesn't really affect the uh, slow proc that occurs. Um, it's kind of weird, but you know what I'm saying. You can, you can eff effectively extend your freeze damage if you have cold on here or whatever that comes out of it okay so there's that and if I'm saying it wrong too bad anyway uh, I did have combustion beam on here you know gaining that extra 600 damage shortly after death but again this is not really about the damage that this weapon does this is 100% about the proccing capabilities of this weapon this 100% cold proc that it does 
every time it shoots. So the big thing to me is making sure the fire rate is taken care of. I went with four forma on this. So three V's here and the D for the prime cryo rounds just because. Still leaves me a lot to work with. You know, new mods come down the road. Uh, we can change things around a bit if I'm not happy with this. If at some point, like I said, I want to add another, you know, um, form it in here and take out thermite rounds, put hammer shot in, just to get the status chance, even though I know it would be less, but it would be straight up cold all the time, I can do that. If I want to change to something else, let's say I want to use magnetic, you know, I just swap that as, and that's really just your secondary status effect that comes out of it. I want to use a viral, I could use a vi viral on here, and viral would be quite effective if it procs the viral you take out part of the health right so that's not bad as well if you can proc the viral um, especially in the higher level stuff but the biggest thing we're talking about on Artax is the ability to slow effect freeze every single target that it hits and with the shred it allows you to target enemies around it as well automatically giving you extra CC minimal CC, but it does give you that as well. You could put metal auger on here for additional punch through if you want. Um, so these are just some of the options that you can go with. Comments, questions below. Hopefully you uh, can get a little idea of how this is. It is extremely powerful at high end because we're not talking about killing enemies. We're talking about freezing the enemies, slowing the enemies, allowing you to do damage capability from your warframe, from your weapons anyway but gives you that nice CCing capability. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.